Hey Peak Crafters, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to turn this into this. I'm Raphael. I used to work in the film industry as a professional static camera operator until I discovered that I could recreate any of the movie props that I love using pretty much only that. <laughs> In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make Anakin a lightsaber using only cardboard, modeling past, and some acrylic pens. Of course, you'll find the complete list of everything I used in the description box below, along with all necessary templates for you to recreate this impressive lightsaber yourself at home. Now, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So, the first thing to do is cutting out the templates that you find in my shop in the description box below. Glue all patterns on your cardboard and cut all the pieces using a precision knife, a box cutter, or very sharp scissor. You can use several boxes, but also tissue boxes, ice cream boxes, basically any uncorrugated cardboard that is about one millimeter thick. You'll have to do that for all the following pieces of this tutorial. First, cut the pieces number 1A, 1B, and 1C. Make the pieces number 1A and 1B curvy using something round like your glue stick and glue the edges together to make tubes. To do so, I used a cheap 15 watt hot glue gun that I bought from Amazon. Glue both tubes together on the edges the same way and glue the piece 1C on the back here to close the opening. Then cut a square of cardboard like that, make it curvy, push it inside the lightsaber, make a mark where both edges crosses so that you can cut the excess. Then pour some white glue inside the lightsaber over here and put back in the piece of cardboard that you cut before. And then with your precision knife, remove what exceeds as well as the inside of these three holes here, here and here. Then cut two rectangular pieces of cardboard like that, make them curvy and glue them inside the lightsaber the same way. And again, remove the cardboard from the inside inside of these three holes. Then cut the piece number two, three, and four. The same way make them curvy. Glue the edges of the piece number two to make another tube. Glue the piece number three on this side here. With your fingers, curve a little bit the piece number four. Glue the two tips of it together and glue it on the side of the piece number three here. Then make another one exactly the same way and glue it on the other side. Then place it inside the lightsaber here, but don't glue it just yet. Next, cut the piece number five. Make it curvy, place it inside the top hole here, cut the excess, and glue it in it with white glue. Doing so, pay attention that you're still able to remove the inside element. Next, cut the pieces number 6, 7, 8, and 9, and the same way glue them inside the bottom hole following the number orders. Then apply some white glue on a sheet of toilet paper, make a tight ball from it, and shape it to make a wand disc. We're going to use it to make the top button of the lightsaber and make another one the same way to make the bottom button. Once again, make sure that you can still remove the inside element. Question of the day, which lightsaber duel from Star Wars movies is your all time favorite one and why? Tell me what in the comment section below. Next, cut three pieces number 10, glue them on top of each other. Then cut three pieces number 11, glue them on top of each other as well and glue the element 11 on the element number 10 on its edges here and glue it on the lightsaber at about 5 mm from the bottom. Make 7 more and glue all of them on the lightsaber the same way at equal distance from each other. Next, cut the piece number 13, with your fingers fold the red lines and close the notches with hot glue. Then position it on the lightsaber at about 1 cm from this element. Mark the two edges of it, then glue two pieces number 12 flush with the marks and glue two more on top of them to make them thicker. Then I glue the remote on the top here. That was actually a mistake as it is the wrong side of the lightsaber, but I will correct that later in this tutorial. Then glue three pieces 14 on each side of the remote here. So as mentioned, I glued the remote on the wrong side. It must be actually on this side. Next, cut the piece 15, fold it on the red line here and shape the longer part here to make it look a little bit like the letter R and glue the two ends of it together and glue it on this side of the remote. Next, cut three pieces number 16, glue them on top of each other, glue it on the top front here, make another one and glue it next to it. 
to eliminate all cardboard imperfections, we are applying a thin layer of a modeling pass to smooth out all surfaces. Don't hesitate to use a brush and some water that will help a lot for you to be able to spread out the past easier. I used this one from Liquitex as it has a great consistency for that kind of job and it retains a little bit of flexibility once dried, which is a good thing. And of course, you can find the link to it in the description box below as well. But if you don't have a filler paste or just don't want to purchase any, I recommend you to watch this video right here where I show you how to make the dark saber but using paper instead of the modeling paste to smooth out all surfaces. Why the dark saber is of course a different build, the paper techniques I show you in this video is going to apply perfectly to this light saber. As well. Or you can watch any of the tutorials I've made before because as you can see on the background I used to cover all of my props with paper not too long ago. Then, using the same techniques you use to make the buttons here and here, make several tiny balls using toilet paper and white glue. And glue all of them in the enclosure of the lightsaber below the remote to make the patterns. So I realized afterward that I could have glued these before applying the filler, but that's okay. I'm just going to glue them above and apply another layer of a filler on top of it after. Then cut a very thin stripe of cardboard, cut it in smaller pieces, and glue all of them on the side of this button here to make the pattern. And of course, I had to apply another layer of a filler paste on top of this. Next, smooth out all surfaces with sandpaper. To do so, don't hesitate to add some drops of water here and there that will melt back a little bit the past, which is going to help a lot with the sanding. I used these four acrylic pens to paint all colored parts of the lightsaber. Of course, I put the link to all of them in the description box below. Use a matte black to paint these elements on the bottom of the lightsaber here, as well as to paint the bottom part of the inside element over here. There is no need to paint the very end of it, as it won't be visible anyway. Then paint this button in red. Next, I made the color orange using yellow and red. Paint the large button here. And use a gold pen to paint these two areas of the remote. Then, using masking tape, mask all the colored areas of the lightsaber. I also used a plastic bag to mask the bottom area of the inside element. So to achieve a very good chrome effect, I'm going to use this paint from Stardust as it produces the most impressive mirror effect I ever seen. However, it is a little bit on the expensive side. But if you don't want to spend too much on the painting job, I recommend you to use this paint from Genolit, which is much cheaper, but you still have a very good chrome effect at the end. To apply this chrome pen, I'm going to use my hairbrush because I have one and because I will get a slightly better result. If you don't have a hairbrush and you are using the same duster paint as me, feel free to use a brush instead. Actually, you won't have that big a difference at the end anyway. Then, once dry, remove all the masking tape. And glue the inside element back inside. Then, using the reference pictures that you'll find with the templates in the description box below, draw the patterns on the remote with a matte black pen. Then, using a regular sheet of printer paper, cut a thin stripe from it, roll it tightly with your fingers, and soak it into a mix of white glue and water. Once dry, cut two small pieces from it, paint them in gold, and glue them inside this hole here, that way. Next, using a thick cardboard, cut two pieces 17, glue them on the edges here, then glue the piece 18 on the top of the piece 17 here, glue the piece 18 reversed on the opposite side, fill the two holes with hot glue, and put in the holes two pieces 19. Then, the same way you did for the lightsaber, cover it with a modeling paste, sand the surface, and paint it with a matte black. What do you think about it? I'm so happy with how it went out. Now click this video right here if you want to learn how to make Luke Skywalker lightsaber using the same techniques I used to make that one. And of course subscribe if you think I deserved it and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next epic build with cardboard. Thank you so much for watching and I see you in the next one. <laughs> I don't know. <coughs> More smiling.